away by THT. Down goes Caruso to get it. To Taylor Horton Tucker. What a play! Throw it down! What's good, YouTube? If you love basketball, you have come to the right place. My name is Wiseman, and in today's video, we are going to be breaking down film on Mr. THT aka Taylor Horton Tucker, aka Mr. Go Get Me a Bucket from the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button later on if you do enjoy this film breakdown. I really am trying to make my channel grow and it really supports me by you guys just, you know, tapping that like button. Now, without further ado, guys, I want to give you some quick background information on THT. Now, I did make a video at the beginning of the season on THT. However, we didn't really have that many minutes of footage of him because he was getting limited minutes and it was still preseason. However, now that THT has been straight balling and, you know, he's cracked the rotation for the damn Los Angeles Lakers at the age of 20, I thought it would be very appropriate to make another video and take a look at what makes him so damn elite. Now, for those of you who don't know THT or don't know him too well, let's give you two key statistics so that you can get a feel for his game. All right, so he's a two guard, which is a shooting shooting guard for all of you rookies out there. Um, he is 240 or 235 pounds. So this guy is a super diesel, all right? He's very thick, even though you know he is only 6'4 with shoes. And second of all, all right, I told you this guy's height, but his wingspan is seven feet, one inches and a quarter. That is absolutely incredible. This dude is practically made in a basketball lab and it's really gonna help him this wingspan as we are going to see in the footage. Now, without further ado guys, I've categorized the footage into four different key attributes that Taylor Horton Tucker possesses. Number one, his ability to attack the rim. Number two, his ability to make plays for others. Number three, his on-ball defense or one-on-one -on -one defense. And number four, something that you know he still has room to improve on. However, he has shown flashes, which is his shooting off the dribble. Now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop in the film room and take a look at what makes THT a future all-star. All right, so Talon's bread and butter is his ability to attack the rim. At 6'4", 235, THT is a human wrecking ball when he puts his head down and makes up his mind that he is going to drive. Combine his broad and thick frame with his incredible 7'1 wingspan, and THT is virtually unstoppable when attacking 200 pound guards or even forwards. Now, the key to Talon's driving ability is the fact that he has a great understanding of his physical makeup and therefore he always looks to initiate contact when attacking the rim. By driving into the body of his defender on his gather step, THT knocks his defender off balance and then uses his long wingspan to finish around virtually any weak side help. Now on top of Talon's incredible physical makeup, he also possesses all the key fundamentals such as great footwork, a tight dribble, and the ability to read the defense when looking for his spots. THT is truly one of a kind in the NBA at the two spot. The kid really just knows how to get a bucket. Now, from a team perspective, THT is the perfect fit for the Lakers. Not only does Talon provide excellent scoring off the bench, but he also has the ability to get others involved as the one guard, which we will discuss later in the next segment. Lastly, Talon is one of those players in which you can insert him into virtually any lineup, whether that's coming off the bench playing with role players, or playing with LeBron in the backcourt. He simply just has so many weapons. Here, we're going to see THT. Looks like he's going to be stopped, but then he's going to go up and under with his long-ass wingspan and get a bucket. Once again, we're going to see pretty much him on Patrick Patterson. He's going to jam the brakes, great footwork, and gets the bank for the and one. Lastly, we're going to see a blow-by with his strength and speed, and while the defender is going to step up, THT is just going to go right over him with such strength. Wow. Talon's next elite skill is his ability to make plays for others. While THT is traditionally a two guard, he can be very effective at the one spot and even make incredible plays at the two spot. Because of his unique ability to score at will, he oftentimes attracts doubles or weak side help. Basically, because Talon can penetrate the defense so easily and is such a scoring threat, he forces lots of help situations in which he can then dish out the ball and find his teammates for an easy bucket. 
Trez, AD, and any rim runners really benefit from THT's playmaking ability around the hoop because all they have to do is be ready for a dump off. While Talon is still young, he has shown lots of potential as an NBA floor general. Keep an eye out for this kid as he starts to take on more responsibility and as he gets more experience under his belt. Here we're going to see that he even has the full court pass down pat. He probably is picking this up a little bit from LeBron, but it's great to see. Not only is THT an incredible offensive player, but he's an amazing on-ball defender. Here we're going to see him break up a lob from the power forward, which is absolutely incredible guys how many guards are we going to see breaking up lobs like that next up a perfect example of tht's ability to defend on ball he can strip some of the best offensive players in the nba and he always gets his hand in the passing lanes causing deflections steals this kid just has everything built for a incredible defensive player he's strong he's thick he's got an incredible wingspan look at that yet again it looks like eric gordon has a basket but nope he's just going to strip the ball away with his big ass arms and hands absolutely incredible he does kind of remind me of Kawhi Leonard like I said in the last video however look at that he's going to strip James Harden arguably the best score in the NBA this is such a great thing for the Lakers right because he can be one of their top defenders when LeBron's on the court when AD's on the court he can guard pretty much one through four because of his size and wingspan and his strength Yet again, he's going to strip the ball and it leads to a fast break, guys. This is the key. The fact that it leads to fast breaks, that's what the Lakers want to do. They want to run and gun. Fast breaks lead to transition buckets and that's so deflating to the other team's morale. Once again, what a block. Last but not least is THT's ability to create shots off the dribble. Now, we all know in order to be an elite two guard, you have to be able to serve buckets from all levels, being able to attack the rim, which THT can do very effectively, but also to be able to pull up from deep off the dribble, pull up from mid range and get buckets from pretty much anywhere on the court. Now, THT has shown flashes like so, where he's been able to take his defender off the dribble and pull up for a nice jumper. But if he can consistently do this, this kid will flat out be an all-star. Welcome back guys. I really hope you enjoyed my film breakdown on Taylor Horton Tucker for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below, what part of Taylor Horton Tucker's game impressed you the most? And what do you think he still needs to improve on? Now, it's really hard to tell where he's gonna be in a few years. However, this kid has tremendous potential as you guys can see. All right, most people really don't have like a plus 10, plus 11 inch wingspan. That is absolutely incredible. And it's gonna be one of the determining factors whether or not you know he really makes it to that superstar level because this kid has all the athletic ability. He has all the footwork, the skills, the you know the IQ. If he can improve his IQ and really become a floor general, my God, the ceiling is the the ceiling for this kid is all NBA. You know what I mean, guys. But anyway, I don't want to take too much of your time. This has been Wiseman from Better Through Ball. If you guys really did enjoy this film breakdown, make sure to give it a like. It really helps support me as a content creator. I'm only sitting at around like 132 subscribers and I really want this to grow. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. And until next video guys, have a great week. There's, you know, we got March Madness on right now. NBA, we got a ton of games going on. It's the final stretch. So let me know what team you guys are watching, who your favorite players are, and let's build a massive basketball community over here at Better Through Ball. Lastly, who do you wanna see next? Who do you wanna see broken down next? Let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time guys, it's been Wiseman. I'm signing off. Peace.